risk factors for osteoporosis include uh, being female, being older, postmenopausal, uh, of Caucasian or Asian background, having a low dietary calcium and vitamin D intake. Treatment options for osteoporosis include calcium and vitamin D, and those are of course the mainstay of all treatment, but additional choices that we have avail available include bisphosphonates, teriparatine, and denosumab. There's a new drug in the pipeline. Uh, it's a monoclonal antibody known as romazosumab, uh, which is a very exciting treatment option. It's an anti-sclerostin antibody that increases bone formation. The romazosumab study was published earlier in 2014 in the New England Journal of Medicine. Uh, this was a dose-finding study. After a one-year period of time, the romazosumab increased bone density to a greater extent than the best treatments that we currently have, including teriparatide and uh, alendronate. Well, I think it's important for physicians to think about the diagnosis of osteoporosis, especially in elderly patients and also in those who've had a fracture. It's important to think about the diagnosis and order a bone density to measure bone mass and then initiate treatment. It's important for physicians to be aware of current treatments for osteoporosis, but also to realize that new treatments are on the horizon which likely will be even better than the ones we currently have.